Hey, hi there, Pisces. Welcome to your weekend prediction. This general reading covers September 21st to the 23rd, but as a general reading, you know energies can meld into the other weeks. I can answer your more specific questions when you book a reading. Check out that description box below. Lots of information there. Thank you for all the feedback and validations, you guys. Keep them coming. It's you that keep me inspired to keep making these videos for you. Okay, Pisces. I have blessed, shuffled, and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card, it's the general atmosphere of the weekend. It's the basis of the matter. It's the background. The Eight of Swords, Pisces. Feeling trapped. The Eight of Swords. Swords is air energy. It has to do with thoughts. This is bondage and fear to move out of a situation. This is having temporary durance. You could be being your own worst enemy because it's you that can change matters. This is a temporary bad situation. You're feeling trapped and making victim mentality excuses and what you need to do is use courage to think in a new way and you'll be freed from restrict frustration and restriction. Your second card, it's the energy crossing over your path. It's the immediate future. The Queen of Swords, Pisces, air energy, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra. The Queen of Swords. This is someone who knows. They're an independent, mature woman with authority. They're strong-willed. They have a keen mind. They could be a writer or a lawyer, maybe a minister. They think things through. They're able to cope with loss. This person provides solution with truth and honesty. They see with clarity and discernment. They accept life as it is. They'll give you good advice. And you may need professional counsel. Your third card, and this is how it affects you. The Six of Pentacles, Pisces. This is a win-win situation. The Six of Pentacles. You are in a balanced position concerning the income and the outflow of your money. This is good things and harmony. This is the pay it back card. And it also, it's advice not to be too proud to accept help. It's the goes, what goes around comes around card. It's charity and being grateful. It's sharing and prosperity. And it's trying to be fair. Your fourth card, it's the future, the outcome, the results, the advice, and how to respond. The Eight of Wands, Pisces, fire energy, always is new growth. The Eight of Wands, this is movement and action and maybe even air travel. It's things happening rapidly. It's a busy and exciting, hopeful period. Positive things are unfolding, and it's the end of delay. This could be messages. It could be rapid-fire messages or emails or voicemails, back and forth. This is an approach to a goal with a quick resolution. It's surprises and opportunities. It's acting quickly and multitasking. The fifth card, it's the bottom of the deck card. It's the underlying issue. This is what's unseen. It's a good card, very positive. The Four of Wands, Pisces. The Four of Wands. This is a celebration in good times. Can sometimes indicate a coming marriage or a romance. Has to do with your home and harvest and stability. A time to pause and relax. You'll get to enjoy life and reap rewards. You're looking back at what you've accomplished. 
and now there's something new coming. This is a happy time. This is the completion of a stage, maybe the purchase of a new home, or putting down roots and moving in together. It's stability. Could be celebrating a birthday or an anniversary or some kind of get together, but it's a time to be happy and grateful. Thank you so much, Pisces. I love your comments. Please subscribe so you find out how this channel evolves. I hope you have a wonderful adventure. Now remember, what goes around comes around. So try to keep it positive. Love and light.